This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to navigate the Performance Calculator tool. After login is complete, you will be brought to the Home Project Listing screen. The project list includes the project name, an assigned project number from the Performance Calculator tool, the ability to edit the project, as well as view the report. If you need to find any information within this project list, you can do so by entering a keyword into the search bar and hitting the filter button. We will go ahead and create a new project. The first step in the project creation is entering the related data for the project. You can select the type of project within the project category. You can set the bid status of the project as well as enter the related contact information for the project. With the information entered, you can remove it by hitting back to listing, which will delete the project creation. You can save the project and go back to the project listing, or you can save it and create the report. With the project information entered, we will now go to the application page. You can see the project information that was just entered at the top of the page. If you need to go back and edit any of that information, you can do so by hitting the back to project edit button. The next step in the data input would be the ASHRAE 90.1 compliance. You will see throughout the tool info bubbles that include related information for the data inputs that are being requested. For this project, we will check the ASHRAE 90.1 compliance. The next step in the project creation is based on your project location and selecting the related weather data. So we'll start with the country selection, the state, and the weather station closest to your project location. As you can see, information has been pre-populated and this is being pulled from the ASHRAE Climate Zone database. We have the ability to change the heating percentile day, the cooling percentile day, as well as the cooling design basis. You will notice that based on the country, the units have been pre-selected. You do have the ability to change those. With the project location entered, you will now see your summer design and winter design conditions. Based on the project location and weather station selected, these fields have been pre-populated, but you do have the ability to change these based on your application needs. When you do change a value, you will see that there is a message related to this value being overridden from what the weather station was. You have the ability to also change the outdoor conditions from wet bulb to relative humidity. And again, you have the ability to override this condition as needed for your project and application needs. So you can also change your return air conditions and relative humidity. So we enter our summer design data and we enter our winter design data. The next step is selecting the unit required for your application. We can do this in two ways. The first is if you know your model, or at least the style of model you would like, you can go ahead and use the drop down buttons to do so. As you work your way through the drop downs, the model available will continue to filter to what is left based on the design inputs for that model. If you do not know your model, you can also go by airflow. You will start by selecting the brand. You will then enter your airflow needs for both your supply and your exhaust. You can enter your static pressure for your design. You do have the ability to change 
the supply and the exhaust to be different is if necessary, as well as the expected static pressure differences between the exhaust and the supply. There is a range associated with how much you can change the supply to the exhaust airflow based on the model. So we'll go ahead and now, based on our information we've input for the airflow rates and the static pressure, we will get the number of models available based on those input rates. So again, you have two ways to select your model. And you can input your information related to your application for your supply and your exhaust air. We will now go ahead and hit the calculate performance button to show the outputs based on the input designs and model selected. So based on the conditions for your project, your design inputs, you can see we have a green check mark for our ASHRAE 90.1 compliance, as well as the output data related to the selected pro uh, product, as well as the information related to the weather station and application. This calculate performance allows you to see the output data related to the inputs you just had. You do have the ability to go back and make any modifications to the inputs and hit the calculate performance again to see those outputs. Now that we've calculated the performance of the product based on the application, we can go ahead and save this and view the report. The final step in this project is viewing the report and have the ability to download and share that report. So you can see here, again, our inputs for the report, our summer design and our winter design conditions. You will notice that any value that is in bold is because we overrid that value. And again, you will see that message on the bottom of the screen. So on the top portion of our designs, we will see our inputs and then the related outputs based on the application, the design location, and the model selected. You have the ability to download this report in PDF format, as well as share it via email. With this report generated, we will now go back to the project list. If at any point you need to edit any of the information in in regards to your inputs, you have the ability to do so by hitting the edit button. We have now completed the creation of a project, the data inputs, as well as the report generation. This concludes the navigation of the performance calculator tool.